Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. The Hindu affection for Israel. Yeah. Right? Uh, some of it is. But remember the... Um, am I allowed to use a swear word? Go for it. Uh, if you're one of those assholes who are like, yeah, man, I support Israel because they're killing Muslims. That is a small percentage of Hindus. Um, I can tell you I'm right-wing and on my timeline, I've only seen one or two schmucks who have said that and I've unfollowed them because that's not the you kind mean. of friend that I want to have. Yeah. 99.99% of the people, and by the way, those are the two people that places like BBC or Al Jazeera will take as a representative of all Indian Hindus. Mm. Okay. Um 99.99% of the people on my timeline, which is quite right-wing, do not think that. They have a great deal of sympathy for the average Palestinian. And their anger is that Hamas is using women and children as human shields. Okay, which they are. Because remember, if you look at the PR war out here, the military war, you can't overcome Israel. Israel is an absolute superpower in the region. Everybody in that region has tried to take down Israel and they've all failed very miserably and paid a very heavy price for it. They are doing, and you know how those reels and Instagram reels and things tug at your heart. Their strategy is to see to it Israel kills as many women and children as possible so as to tug at your heart so that your heart takes over from your brain. For Israel, it is bad PR to kill. So Israel actually, is, first of all, they don't have a bloodlust to kill. Second, it is bad PR for them because every Palestinian ch woman or child killed hurts their cause. Whereas every Palestinian woman or child killed increases Hamas's support base. It helps Hamas's a PR argument. See, they can't counter Israel militarily, so they counter Israel PR-wise. That's how things play out. And you know, it's natural human instinct. You tell me, who will not support the underdog? Okay? Except the problem is, we think of this as the underdog. They are technically the PR overdog, uh, Hamas is, and Israel is the PR underdog. Number one. Uh, number two, let's get back to Hindus. Uh, what Hindus see is that, you know, we're what V.S. Naipaul called a deeply wounded civilization. Uh, you know, we've been colonized for the last thousand years. Uh, it's been massacre after massacre after massacre after massacre. Uh, there is not a single old uh, temple standing in North India. All the old temples are in the South. There's nothing left standing in North India uh, that's more than a few hundred years old, unless they were lost, like Khajura was lost in the forests and things like that. Uh, they are not. Uh, you've In our own lifetimes, we've seen the ethnic cleansing of Kashmiri pundits in Kashmir. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, what is essentially a uh, sort of denial of rights to mighty tribals in Manipur happen right now, in the same year that all of this has happened. Uh, there is anger and there is this feeling that Israel is kindred, but it, it stands up for itself. The average Hindu is like the Jew before the Holocaust. You know, the Jew before the Holocaust was the good Jew that everybody liked. He didn't take a pistol and go shoot. He didn't stand up for himself. When he was sent to the gas chamber, he went like a cow to the slaughter. You know, you know how cows are killed, no? They put a pressure gun to the head and the... Um, steel jack goes right through the brain. It essentially causes the brain to explode and the cow dies immediately. And uh, that is their idea of a good Jew. And what they do to the good Jew is kill the good Jew. Okay. Uh, but after the Holocaust, they realized they couldn't continue like this. You know, the biggest supporters who, uh, I won't say supporters, but the, big, the, the loudest voice saying Hitler wasn't going to kill Jews were in fact German Jews. They said, you know, this guy's he's not really going to say what he does. But he did. We all know he did. So there was a civilization, a community change that happened in their mindset. What the rest of the world seems to want is for the Jew to go back to being that good Jew who just dies when you tell him to die. And they're not going to do that. And Hindus, there is a lot of frustration in feeling that, 
you know, we're the good Hindus, we're the democratic, lovely, multicultural state that the New York Times and Washington Post used to love, as long as we were ready to get butchered. And the moment we stand up for ourselves, we're fascist Nazis who uh, uh, should essentially be looked at as the Third Reich and be bombed in and divided up like East and West Germany were under two or four different zones of influence. Uh, that doesn't work. Second, it is much deeper cultural ties, remember, because, you know, Israel is a Jewish state. It's the only Jewish state and a religion born from there called Christianity. Jesus Christ wasn't a Christian. He was a Jew. Uh, but Christianity became the dominant religion in the West. But the point of origin remained Jewish. Similarly, India, the point of origin remained Hindu, but we spawned, Hinduism spawned a religion called Buddhism, which took over the East, but the point of origin remained uh, Hindu. So there is that similarity. The third similarity is you see that the diaspora of both, the, you know, there's this concept of the Hindu in America. After Protestant Catholic marriages, Hindu Jewish marriages are the highest. Why? Because we are both urban, peaceful communities that don't go around rioting and burning things on the street. Uh, very educated, focus on, uh, you know, uh, 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 family, uh, being peaceful, doing things through the law, etc., etc. There is a reason that Hindus and Jews have the highest per capita incomes of any diaspora anywhere in the world. Uh, the fourth reason behind all of this is the fact that, you know, we've never had anti-Semitism in this country. We don't know what it is to hate a Jew. So, you know, many Jews who come to India get upset that, you know, sometimes... Oh, like a lot of my Jewish, fr my Israeli friends would come here and, oh, you're Israeli. And like, what the hell, dude? He's not being anti-Semitic. We don't know what it is to be anti-Semitic in India. So we don't even understand what the gravity of Hitler is to the Jewish mind. I'll tell you why. In the Christian world, the Jew is the person who killed Jesus. They are God killers. They're literally the Asura who killed the Devas or whatever, right? And mind you, this was a rhetorical device. Anything in, if you look at Pontius Pilate's record in Judea, in the Roman province of Judea, uh, it'll show you that he was an absolutely nasty character uh, who would have had absolutely no compunctions ordering this rebel who was becoming a law and order problem to be crucified. Uh but when the Christian canon was written, the whole point of early Christianity was to co-opt the Roman state. So they wanted to absolve Rome, the Roman Empire of guilt, and pass that guilt off onto other Jewish, because Christianity is a Jewish faction. Remember that. They wanted to pass it off onto all the rival factions and blame them for it. So, you know, Rome didn't do it. Pontius Pilate washes his hands, and it is the, uh, 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 what's it called? The... Uh, was it called the Knesset in those days? The rabbinate. The rabbinate that decided to, I think it's called something Hagedullah. I forget. Isn't uh, the equivalent of the, uh, what's the Christian one called? The, 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 the Roman Curia, I yeah. guess. Uh, the Papal Curia. Uh, kind of like that. The, like the, 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 the supreme uh, uh, council of uh, um, uh, priests. The religious governance. Right. And uh, the religious governance body uh, that sentenced him. Teak. So they have always carried this burden of being the ones who killed our God. And they have been targeted for it. The second problem is both Islam and Christianity did not allow finance, did not allow usury, which is to say interest taking. Right? So the only people allowed to take interest were the Jews. Now, every time you wanted to, uh, I've taken 12 years worth of debts from you. I now realize I can't pay it back. What do I do? Uh, I can't pay it back. I'm not going to allow you to destroy my life by taking over my property. So I say, Ranveer Allahabadia, or in this case, let's give you a Jewish name. Let's call you uh, Yaakov Finkelstein. Uh, Yaakov Finkelstein uh, kidnapped uh, uh, my maid's baby and drank his blood in his satanic God-killing rituals, demonic rituals. And so, remember, in pre-industrial societies, riots happen like that. You spark off a uh, rumor, rumor, it leads to a riot. They would all come and they would butcher your family and my debt is clean. So this whole concept of blood libel, 
that you shed the blood of Christ and therefore you should be killed for you, you are you're not demons but you're not much closer either was developed as a means of first making them do all the finance and then you couldn't pay back your debts to kill them off right it was a very sick sadistic way of running things now remember in the muslim world also you are not allowed to do finance and so a lot of the financial duties again fell on the jews and the same dynamics would overtake it the difference was uh, it it is not fair to say that the muslim world wasn't anti semitic the muslim world was deeply anti semitic because the same dynamics of finance you don't want to do finance and you want to kill off your uh, your creditor um but the jews didn't kill the muslim god therefore it was slightly of a of a slightly less caliber than what you saw in christian europe right and this is how this whole jew hate plays out so you see chronic antisemitism but for hindus i mean when has interest taking been wrong you know we we don't look at these things so jews could do when they came here they could do whatever they wanted you want to be a fisherman do it you want to do banking or finance do it you want to become the uh, chief minister there there were jewish chief ministers to uh, and prime ministers to several of the kings along the west coast and things do it who's stopping you uh, so you know there was no restrictions on them and there's no killing of the god there is so so you know the sociological reasons for jew hatred never existed in india and for that reason we don't even understand what hitler did because i can tell you being an uh, I, i was a cbse student so central board of secondary education and you know how much was taught to us about the holocaust exactly one line uh the holocaust happened and uh the and germany killed off about 5 million jews it was literally one sentence one line and you know this is cbse which is a much more globally integrated curriculum the states and things like that have no idea out there and you know the tamil nadu board under the admk actually had some lines praising hitler um it was embarrassing but the point is you don't know what hitler did so somebody looking at hitler on balance where there's just one line about the holocaust but then there's all this thing about how he built up germany's honor and this and that and whatever nonsense like for those of us who have read about the holocaust you know okay so these are all small things and mass murder especially that kind of sadistic mass murder is that big but for an average indian who hasn't even traveled abroad low per, per capita income how how do you tell that difference so you know it's but that is not what al jazeera sees they do something very mischievous the same way blood libel is put on to jews in the christian world and now the muslims have also adopted blood libel they have started making up stories of how jews kidnap a uh, muslim martyr child and uh, uh, drink its blood for their rituals and things like that Al Jazeera does that to Hindus. They take the two Hindus saying, "Yeah, man, go bomb Muslims." Like every religion has its holes, man. I can show you Jewish holes. There were holes uh, uh, that who I saw on Twitter who were pissing on the bodies of uh, uh, Hamas killed. But that doesn't define Israel or a Jew. That is a shitty Jew uh, who exists. Uh, there are shitty Indians who exist. Just because somebody. Uh, uh, we have rapes and murders in india doesn't mean all indians are rapists and murderers na so we have pedophiles in india that doesn't make all indians pedophiles but that is what al jazeera wants to stereotype and do it so al jazeera is actually an absolute mirror of the jew who is pissing on the hamas bodies and the guys on twitter who are saying go uh, uh, kill gazans because they're muslim so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the rs clips